Health Canada, meanwhile, has approved its first vaccine for youth, children aged 12 and up, now eligible to receive the Pfizer shot, making Canada the first country to lower that vaccine age limit. Provinces are allowed to start booking appointments immediately, but it's not clear just yet when Ontario will begin the rollout. And this was news that a lot of parents were looking for some looking forward to, some had a lot of questions about. So best we go right to the pro, joining Dr. Dina Kulik, pediatrician and founder of Kid Crew. Good morning to you, Dr. Kulik. Good morning. I know you were keeping your eye uh, very closely on this announcement. It wasn't, uh, it wasn't uh, if, it was a matter of when. Does it surprise you that it got approved so quickly? No, because the study showed of the 2,200 children aged 12 to 15 who received the Pfizer vaccine, that the vaccine was very effective no kids who received the vaccine in their group got infected with COVID-19 versus eight children that were infected in the placebo group. And it was found to be safe. There weren't any undue side effects, anything different than adults would experience. So it's great news. It's safe and it's effective. Dr. Kulik, what would you like to see when it comes to a rollout, how it's rolled out, who gets priority? I do think that until we have more of the adult population people that are higher risk just by nature of their age being vaccinated. I don't think we should be considering giving young people the vaccine quite yet. Kids are faring still very well with COVID. So while kids can get COVID infection and about 20% of Canadians who have had COVID-19 are children, they still don't get very sick with it, but they can get it. They can pass it to the adults in their lives, including teachers and parents and daycare providers, et cetera. So, it's important that kids eventually get vaccinated if it's safe and effective for them to do so to provide more of a herd immunity effect. We know that we want at least 70 to 80 percent of the Canadian population to get vaccinated to minimize the burden overall in our communities of COVID-19. And if kids can be included in that, that would be amazing. And this is going to play a part in what it looks like for in-person learning, obviously, whether or not we're going to go back um, or we're just looking ahead to September. Um, do you think that this should be something that's mandatory for children to be vaccinated in order to go back? I hope that it isn't. There's a lot of hesitance around giving vaccines to children for parents and well-meaning caregivers, of course. They want to know that these are safe and effective. You know, as it is now, vaccines are not mandatory. There are some families that opt out of receiving certain vaccines um, after discussion with their healthcare providers. And I, I know some parents are very eager to get their kids vaccinated with the COVID-19 vaccine. We had many calls and emails to Kid Crew yesterday where I work of parents saying, oh, I heard it was approved. Can we get, you know, in queue? Can we get the vaccine right away? So some parents are very eager and others will be more hesitant. And I understand that it's a new thing for, for children. And because kids don't get very sick with it, I understand why some parents would want to delay it. But we have a lot more adults to get vaccinated first. Dr. Kulik, for you as well, this being Mental Health Week, and I know you, you speak to a number of parents and children who are dealing not just with the physical, but also mental health struggles and challenges right now. What would you like to say to any of the parents or kids who are watching? I think it's a really challenging time, right, for parents and for caregivers, all adults, all children. It's such a challenging time. So much emotional burden, financial burden. It's, it's really challenging. I think everyone should spend some time outside every day. I think it's really, really important now that it's nicer out. It's so much better to be outside. Get that fresh air. Get that exercise. Get your heart pumping. It will make you feel dramatically better. But I do think the closer we inch towards more people getting vaccinated, the closer that light at the end of the tunnel becomes. So if we just hold with it for a few more months, I really think that we'll be back to a more normal life within a few months. That would be nice. Dr. Kulik, as always, appreciate your time and insight. Thank you. Thank you.